Hey folks, this is Scott and my good friend Bill Wade here in the historic streets of Pahuska, Oklahoma. I've got a little art piece and a little bit of storytelling here we're going to do. I just wanted to show you this um, reflection, this soul sketch that I created with Bill um, a while back when we first met. Bill had become a real good friend of mine here and, and I just want to show this original piece here. <laughs> he is quite the character. He's got a lot of great history. He's a, he's a magician. He's got a little bit of everything going. But I just want to share this piece with you. It's going to be on exhibit in the 1927 Citizens Art Project here in Pahuska. And we're going to tell the story of this piece here. And it's going to be Bill's story. So we, we met uh, a while back and he came on and we started doing this little um, history show together. And he brings all these amazing talents. Of, he sings. He's got these amazing stories, which we'll talk about. And he's got one of the, the most amazing collections of meteorites from Osage County I've ever seen. So maybe we can talk a little bit about that. But this is Mr. Bill Wade. Bill? Man, thanks Hello. for coming up here, dude. It's an honor. <laughs> well, tell, me, tell us everybody about, about yourself. Well, I grew up here. I uh, worked most of my adult life in the oil field. I'm passionate about treasure hunting. And, well, these Oklahoma hills, every cliff and every rock outcropping pulls at me like a magnet. And I visited so many of them and seen so many things nobody else around here has seen. I've been to where outlaws actually camped and lived out there when they roughed it. I've been hurt hunting for treasures for years and years and I've got some really good leads. I even wrote a book that was very well received and we're working on getting it back in print. It's called Hidden Treasures of Osage County, Oklahoma. It's got original artwork in it too. He published this book himself. He's got one of the yeah. highest uh, sales of a, a books. What, what was your actual? Oh, Osage County Historical Society Museum. I had the biggest book signing they ever had. This is a great book, by the way. That, that trail marker is hard to see now because it's north of town on the east, on the west side of the highway, old highway. That's big, and it's a it's a Spanish trail marker. Well, there's trees growing in front of it now. So a lot of our, our stories that we talk about, there's all kinds of, we, from the outlaw history to um, further back in the 1500s and the, the Spanish uh, coming through here and the stories and the, the things that, that happened at that time. And, and Bill here and his adventures has come across things that he believes is, is uh, possible remnants of the Spanish um, involvement here in Osage County. Yeah. So you, you've been I, treasure hunting like all your life? Is that your thing? I've always looked for anything of value. I was searching all the cliffs and the outcroppings thinking these outlaws that we've had here, such a vast number of them hid out here in the badlands of the Osage Hills, that if I kept looking, maybe I'd come across something good going out without any stories, and I kept finding signs and symbols and trail markers I didn't understand. I got uh, looking for outside sources for research material, and I found some, and well, what I found, a vast number of, are the signs and symbols and trail markers that were left by the Spaniards when they occupied the area. And when Coronado failed to find the seven cities of gold and he went up into Kansas to look for Guevara, his main expeditionary force came here to Osage County to investigate rumors of mountains, which are the Osage Hills. But they were looking for anything of wealth. And they did find low-grade silver ore and they found mercury in the sandstone in places. And they left trail markers everywhere. And when they were driven out, 
they hid their tools and their supplies and their samples because when they were driven out of here, they had to go. Coronado's primary expedition, well, of all the people in it, which it estimates 1,500 to 2,000 people altogether, including over 1,000 adult male slaves, who some of them had their wives and families with them, that expedition stretched out over several miles in length. But when Coronado went to look for Quavira with 12 horsemen and two guides, picked up a third guide on the way, the main force came through here. And I found campsites and I found mines and I found beautiful, magnificent sculptures which are you have to be standing in the right spot to see them because they're carved where you can only see them when you're looking in a cardinal direction. There's things I want to show Scott and, that have never been documented. And you wouldn't blame me unless you saw them yourself. It's legit. He's it's, got, it's amazing. He's got photos, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So, so got Coronado treasures and stuff. Then also with this, um, you know, going to like the meteorites, he brought a collection yeah. of meteorites that are from Osage County. Some of them from here in, in the Pahuska area, right? Yeah, from right here in town. In town. Within the city limits. That, the most significant one I, I remember was, it was a little round. It looked like a marble with diamonds in it. it was well, that one was, uh, that's a tektite. It's meteorite glass. It's it refined on the way down. <laughs> if you look at it through a tutor's loop, it's beautiful, but it's the color's just an ugly gray. <laughs> There's nothing magnetic or metallic in it. It's it's just meteorite glass. Uh, space and level. <laughs> yes, basically. And it's almost as big as a regular marble. It's amazing. But there were six pieces of uh, meteorite material where it had shattered all in a circle about a foot across. In town? No, that one was south of Ramona, Oklahoma. Still, are we still in Osage but, County at that point? Or is no, that that's over in Washington County, Washington County, south of Marlville. The two places I found here in Pawhuska, one of them was, well, one of them, my big meteorite, a magnet will slap to it. I found next to the asphalt on the grass on the west edge of town, when I'd gotten out of my truck to go in a store to get me a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> there it was. Yeah. And of this black rock, I thought it was a piece of asphalt. I was going to pick it up and throw it. It was way too heavy. And the other spot I found where one had shattered, it was, uh, I talked to the guy who saw one fall, and he pointed the approximate direction. And over the course of time, I found where it busted up, hit the ground. I got over 45 pieces of it. Oh, none of them are very big, but they'll all pull to a magnet. Well, okay, so speaking like magnetics and, and metal and well, stuff like that. Iron and nickel. Okay, so predominantly. one of the things that, you know, in, in our travels and talks is um, that you've done a lot of um, with a um, metal, metal detector. detector. Yes. Yeah. And, and, in, and some of these stories you talk about, you know, working on the, in the oil field and, and as pumping whatever you're kind of peeking around looking at you know maybe see if well, you pick up there's places you know where the nobody's been there in ages and there'd be an old foundation and an oil company would bid in a lease and build a new road in there so now there's access but you're supposed to have permission always and that's the tough one <laughs> But a lot of these things you just kind of stumble across in your, in your explorations well, and your, you, with your friends and everything you're doing, right? You learn what to look for. It's like arrowhead hunting. You take someone out the first time, they don't know what they're looking for until they actually find one or a piece of one. Well, okay, so 
in your your life here in Osage County, a lot of it's spent working in the the oil field and and that nature. And then there's a a time where we had you know maybe a few motorcycles riding around and and uh, folks out here enjoying the ride on the prairie. Uh, do you ever do you ever ride a bike? I had a '73 Norton 850 Commando factory high rider. It was kind of they called the Nortons the Cadillacs of the English motorcycles. Nice. And that was back in the late 70s, and I was pretty wild. <laughs> You're still wild. Not like yeah. it, not wild like his beard, but just wild, wild. So I, I'm not wild like I was then. <laughs> See, they say alcohol will uh, damage your short-term memory, and if that's true, just imagine what alcohol can do. <laughs> uh, you know, it's that's how wild I was. <laughs> Well, oh, and I can tell you something else. They say alcohol can damage your short-term memory. <laughs> so just imagine what alcohol can do to you. <laughs> uh, he's, there was he's, something else I wanted to tell you. I think it was about alcohol, but I, I can't remember can't it right remember. now. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, I just I want to introduce my friend here, Bill Wade. If you ever see him out here on the streets of Pahuska, Oklahoma, make sure to wave and shake his hand, say hello. And he's got this this book we're working on, trying to get back out again. Is turn around and show him that hidden treasures of Osage County. This is um, a true jewel, just like Mr. Wade here. He's a he's a good man. Nonfiction history. History. I didn't make stuff up. I've researched stories that have been in print and searched for them, and added what I learned. And I'm not telling everybody everything but I've been told stories that have never before been in print. So this is a, a true treasure here in Pahuska, Oklahoma, is my friend Bill Wade. I just wanted to, to share a little bit of history with you. And, and uh, he had a, for, a forward here from a, another gentleman that we've, we've experienced with stuff, as does um, some stories on our show. That's Mr. Francis Kelly. Can I read this out loud? Yes, I was going to offer that to you and have you read that forward. All right. This is a forward from Mr. Francis Kelly. Another jewel here. We'll uh, see if we can't do something with him soon. All right. <clears throat> this is a forward from Francis Kelly. You are about to take a tour of Osage County, led by a longtime avid treasure hunter. The author is a lifelong acquaintance and friend who has spent a large part of his life in the woods and walking in the hills and valleys of Osage County. This book contains fact, fiction, and speculation presented in an intriguing fashion. You want to have some time, because once you start to read, you won't put this book down until you've finished. So saddle up and get ready for an adventure. Who knows, you just might become a treasure hunter too. Francis Kelly. All right. Well, thank you very much, Bill. Again, Bill Wade, Osage County, true legend, possibly an outlaw in his own fashion, if not, aren't we all? So, guys, thank you very much. I've we'll got there. so many miles under my belt of out here exploring that I don't know anybody. Well, I've had one partner that stayed up with me. They went on several of my adventures. I've had two other partners who are, they're passed away now. And I, I loved them like brothers. And I didn't always carry a pistol out there. I was happy with a sharp beaver stick I picked up off the creek bank. <laughs> I wasn't scared of anything. No, with a beaver stick. <laughs> I had a stick. <laughs> <laughs> a beaver stick's my favorite. <laughs> yes. All right, thank you, Bill. I appreciate you. you Guys, bet. all right, have fun out there and just enjoy the ride. And you're scared, get you a pointy stick. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>